We're at Dream Drive right now, picking up our Tama van. This van fits four people. We have the bed that's inside, and then there's a tent on top. We're heading over to Nagano right now, and you know, we'll kind of keep you updated on where we're going. Oh shit, don't flip. It does not right. Stick on the bed, though. Okay, no, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, should be good. We good to go? Yeah. All right. Guys, we're good to go. Let's go. We're going to go to Nagano first and try and come back in one piece with Peter might not, but that's okay. Why is everyone pissing on me? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I we ended up leaving Komae around 11, 11.30ish, and it took us a little bit to figure out where we're going just because we had to change our initial plans. We are in the van right now, and we are heading to um, Nagano, so we're actually going to be skipping our first destination, which was supposed to be Yama Nashi, because the weather just hasn't been really great, and the chances of seeing Mount Fuji are just really slim, really low. And we should be in Nagano around in an hour and a half ish so yeah. So we're on our way to Utsukushigahara right now, and on the way we had to, we went to get a bathroom break. We found this Lake Misuzu, and it is pretty peaceful out here. It's apparently there's a bunch of fishermen out here, so if you're into fishing, it might be a cool spot just to kind of chill out. So we got the van up there, and we're trying to get some photos of outside to look out at the lake. <laughs> so Masa, the shot that we want you to take is like. Have you seen the shots where it's like we're just looking at the view and it comes from the back and it goes forward to see the view? We just came out from near Lake Misuzu and we did a, did a lot of filming. <laughs> We might not be able to see sunset in the highlands. But it's getting darker now, so it's 30 minutes to sunset. Will we make it? We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the highlands, once we actually started going up, it got really high to the point where we were pretty much in the clouds. And so it was very interesting driving through the clouds. It's kind of scary the higher up you go. Literally, we drove through the clouds and it was super Silent Hill vibes. Mas is a crazy driver. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. That bitch cool. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know where we're going, though. Uh... Uh, we're going straight. Once we were at the peak, it was just too dark to really see anything. So we are in Utsukushigahara Highlands right now. Utsukushigahara Kogen. The problem right now is that we're in a cloud. We're in a huge cloud, so you can't even see anything. Actually, these are the clouds. They're not mist. They're moving. And it's so refreshing. It feels great and cool. And, like... and the sunset. So there's actually sunset. So you can see a little bit of it in the back. The remnants of today's sunset. Thank you. Go back to sleep. Everyone go back to sleep. So today's plan, you guys, is we're going to go try to see the waterfalls. Um, it's pretty early. I think it's about 8 a.m. right now. And then in the evening, we're going to try and see these um, really, really beautiful terraces that Master really wants to go to. We're going to try to pull it down. Put it away. Am I supposed to do this? I have to be on it. No, I could just pull it down. Whoa. Oh, my arm! We good? We good. All right. I'm gonna leave her behind. It'll be great. Bye bye, bitch. Nothing right Hey, bye. See ya. No! <laughs> All right, so we're in Naina Waterfalls right now. Yeah, this place is super cool. It's a little bit cloudy, but it brings out a lot of this mood. It's around 10 a.m. ish, 
actually pretty stoked. I want to see if we can get closer to the waterfall itself. So this is Nina Falls. Uh, we tried to get over there onto the, all the rocks, as many of the rocks as we could. It's actually kind of slippery and scary to do. I guess we're going through this scary, scary, oh my god. Oh no, listen. It looks like on the rock for hold on. Oh, this mud. Getting down here. Oh yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Really difficult. But all these ones right here, you can kind of walk onto them. The water's a little bit quick, and if your feet get wet or muddy, it's really slippery, so just be careful of that. But overall, super sweet spot. Peter, where'd you go? Peter! I'm currently looking for Peter. Um, the cell reception is really bad here, so. It's hard to contact and find and organize where everyone is, but um, we're gonna try and find him. If not, we're just gonna leave him here, but that's okay. Found him. Almost died. Yeah. The best part of adventure is when you almost died. <laughs> so Peter has uh, he's sunken down to from to a place where he can't return from anymore. Yeah, there there he is now. I don't know how he got there because this is uh, all kinds of danger. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try and go down here and then to where Peter is. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, that's a huge drop. And now we are super starving. It's 1 p.m. So we spent like three hours there, but we are going to try and get some food to eat. And then we're hopefully, I'm going to go see the like food clouds. What's the dilemma? So he doesn't know if you have like to wear this one or the mean. red one. What? I have two options. Like, okay, it's really blue Dude, and can white. Can you show me the red one? Yeah, I'll be really quick. Can someone just explain to me what's happening? All right, so we just arrived at Sora Terrace. Essentially, it's an Unkai Terrace, which just means um, Unkai is like sea of clouds, Terrace Terrace, and. There is a ropeway that goes all the way up and it takes you above the clouds. That way you're looking down at a sea of clouds. The only thing right now though, over there in this direction, down the hill, it is beautiful. However, looking up this way, it is like gloom and doom, darkness ahead kind of clouds. So we'll just have to see how it looks from above, but we'll just take a shot. So apparently it costs 2,500 yen to get in this, so. What do you, no, apparently, and, exactly. And, <laughs> and then it's an eight minute rope away. Eight to go. minutes? Eight and minutes. It's about 4.58, so we might have missed the sun in that perfect, it was really perfect, like a few it's minutes It's gonna be ago. dark and it's gonna be great. <laughs> Whoa. It's supposed to look a lot fancier. It doesn't look Ooh. as great. However, yeah. we're just trying to make do with what Whatever we got. Whatever we have. So we get a little bit of hints of sun, like pinks and golds. It's very, very tiny, but it's just cool being in the clouds.
So we are now at the Hostoga Rice Terrace and it's cloudy, but uh, it's pretty cool. So we're doing just a normal shots and a view writing and then this is the view and stuff, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna write. Like I want the same as the one I said. I mean, you're not gonna, I thought you were gonna, for your business, like with the books open. Yeah. See, this is the problem. I don't know if that's a yes or a no, but like, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, uh, nah. What are you guys doing? That's the question. Wait. So, okay. What, what is your interpretation of what is happening next? I thought we were going to take more photos for our business, which is like, uh, yeah, 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 but I don't know how to say it. Mm. Oh, I should take my... Yeah, yeah, I want, I want, I want. I, See? I want that. What is that? Okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I... Okay, fine, we'll do that one. So, no books. <laughs> I don't like your back. Can you curve it a bit? Yeah. Okay, there we go. And this is a normal one. This is a normal one. Oh, it's a, I think I do have to... Oh, can I have you or after your glasses? I don't like your back. Get no, a back. surgery yeah. right now. <laughs> no, I never say so it like that. So many other ways you could have worded that. No, because it has to be Could quick. Please just arch your back a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> quick, so you're wasting time telling her you don't like her back. You know how I, you know, how you know like, if I, I like, like someone? Back. If I tell them straight up, like, do this. But then if I don't, I'm going to be like, oh, do you mind? Like, I'll be very polite because... She's kind of polite to us, though. Huh? She's kind of played to us. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm like, guys. Too, yeah, you are. That is not true. No, I'm much more polite you are, if you're I. You're mean to it in this. I don't know why she puts up with it. <gasps> I'm not mean. You guys haven't met enough mean people. Where's my phone? It's mean. I don't know why you put up with it in this. Literally, I made her noodles. I put the hot water in her noodles, you guys. I Me? do everything for her. She gives nothing. Yeah. She hit her. She's physically assaulted. No, her I caressed her. You didn't caress her. Physical <laughs> violence. This is abuse. Oh, look at what I have to put, like, go through. This is this is absurd. Hey, right, Peter, what do you want to do? Right now. Yeah, where do you want to go? Um, I'll probably do like a driving shot as we drive down. But if there's anything down there, I think it's a bit difficult to get a shot. 360 wise, because everything's close behind us. But yeah, I guess we go get some food and then go kayaking. We're out here at Evergreen Outdoor Center with Dave and he's going to be leading us around paddling these canoes. Are you excited? Yes. Scared? Yes. <laughs> okay. If I fell in the water, I'm not drowning. No. Dave took time out of his day to teach us how to paddle and all the safety things in order to get us on the water. Don't stand up in the canoe unless you do want to go swimming. Okay, so anytime you move in the canoe, as we're getting into the canoe, you put both hands on the gunnels, okay? And the gunnels are the, basically the sides of the, the rail of the canoe. Okay, okay, okay I did it, guys. <laughs> I actually first originally started something that was basically just avalanche courses in the wintertime. I called that Coach, Canadian Outdoor Adventure Club Hakuba. It's quite a mouthful. <laughs> At that time, everyone had sort of those, what do you call them? Not the acronyms, names. And I was like, and I woke up one night, like kind of, you know, sort of in a cold sweat with this vision of my high school football coach who was fat and bald. Everyone went, hey coach, hey coach. And I woke up going, no, I gotta change the name. I can't be called coach for the rest of my life, kind of thing. So I thought, Coach Dave, Evergreen Dave, Evergreen's better. I mean, that was. My premise at that time was, and still is now, is to get people into nature. You know, at that time, there wasn't as, I think, as much of a switched on idea about the fact that, hey, we need to be making some major changes 
uh, with day-to-day -day life and how we do things. And uh, things like Sea Shepherd and Greenpeace and stuff like that just weren't working. And so getting people into nature and seeing things like this and seeing beautiful water like this is like, wow, now I know why we need to protect you know, water and uh, how precious fresh water is. How great is the air around here with all the trees and how easy it is on the eyes to have all this green around. And just the feeling that you're connected to somewhere. So we get, you know, it wasn't just recreation and for fun, but they actually felt connected to a place. And then you sort of take that memory back with you. And you know, if only at that time, I was like, well, even if only 1% of the population changes, that's gonna be the 1% that's gonna lead people into making change and they'll have this feeling that they need to do these things to protect places like this. We're, we're not gonna get back by six. How many hours did they say we had, or does it take to go back? Uh, a lot. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll apologize to them. You're gonna apologize. Thank you. Thanks so much, yeah, see you next summer. No, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No worries. That was really fun. It was so much fun, right? I did my best going out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Sleeping in a van, first time ever. I'm a princess. Wait, I, I sleep in a five stars also. <laughs> you don't actually have to shout of like us or something, just in front of the van, and this is a nice backdrop. Four has amazing communication. That's me. No, that's I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, don't bring Bettina because she leaves the van okay. open. And All right, Bettina, off, right? come on, hurry up and get down. Okay, Peter, I'm waiting for you. What the f what? <laughs> All right, princess. Yeah. I'm so glad that we're able to go out on this trip. Thank you Dream Drive for letting us use your van and thank you Evergreen Outdoor Center for giving us the chance to paddle around on the lake. Check out the description below for a full list of where we went, uh, including rest stops and the bathhouses, as well as links for more information on Dream Drive and Evergreen. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.